need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Tommy, congratulations on your win tonight. Just your assessment of what we saw there. Yeah, cheers, man. Thank you. Um, tough guy, man. Very tough guy. Like, I must have put him, I don't know how many times I put him down each round, mate, but he kept getting back up. But um, every time I got up, mate, I'll keep putting him over, keep putting him over. But um, yeah, I've got to give credit to him. He's a good opponent for me at this stage of my career as a, as a learning, learning process. But um, yeah, man, I've got him out there, 6-0, and 5 KOs. On to the next one. Did you spot a weakness to the body the first few times you hit him there? Because I think you become quite clear that that's where he was weak. Um, the first two knockdowns were very good, very clean to the body. So um, did you kind of spot that early? Yeah, you know what? I went jab head, just sat down and uh, chucked the left hook into the, to the body, and um, he went over. It felt soft, mate. So Mark tried to instructing me to keep going to the body. Kept trying to go to the body. He kept going over, and then um, obviously dinged him to the head, and then. He didn't, he ref jumped in, didn't he? I was saying, oh, the, oh no, the towel coming, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny that the fight was stopped when he was actually on his feet, considering how many times he hit the deck. Yeah, it makes no sense, mate. They should have, uh, I thought it weighed off when he's actually on the canvas, not when he's on his feet. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, but like you said, a good opponent for you at this stage, and despite the fact there might be times where he's not giving much back and he's tucking up and there aren't too many openings, they're the sort of guys you're going to face at this kind of stage of your career. Yeah, of course, man. He, he did throw back. He's a bit of a swinger. Like, um, yeah, he was game, man. He was up for it. He weren't just there to get paid, mate. He was coming to bring it. Like, I must have had about 50 Spanish guys tagging me in Instagram stories, like, Good. saying, yeah, yeah. All today in that Spanish writing, saying, like, this is war. When, I, think the guy, I think the guy thought he was fighting at Wembley Stadium. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? He kept, he kept, all these people were tagging me in stories saying, oh, we're coming for it. This is war. So he was up for it, mate. He, he had a tough head. He was up for it, 100%. You've always got to be wary, I guess, of an opponent who's swinging. The last thing you want to do is get clips and just kind of put, I don't know, imagine how much of a downer it'd be if you'd won, but you were sitting there and you'd been dropped. Of course, mate. No, listen, I know for a fact I've got a good chin. I've been hit clean many a times in sparring and, uh, and I just I took a couple tonight, I think, a few little dingers and that, but it never hurt me once, mate. I've got a good chin. I try to keep it that way, but um, you know what? It's just a learning fight, mate. On to the next one. Like, sim simple as that, really, isn't it? Like, another learning fight, another day in the office. Yeah, well, it isn't Wembley Stadium like maybe he fought, um, but Wembley Arena, you made your professional debut here. Um, you fought high up on the card in the Yard Baturbiev show, and I know that night you said you weren't too happy with your performance. Is it nice to just get back to this place, a special place again, like I said, because you made your debut here, and just get a win in front of your fans, you made a bit of noise, get the stoppage, and I guess like, a good night all round for you? Yeah, of course, man. This, um, this is where I made my debut. It's starting to feel like a bit of home to me now. Like I'm getting used to the process here. It was special here. Yeah, you know what? I had my debut here, and like, I know the process in this in this place now. Um, this is my third fight here. Obviously, I had my debut here, so yeah, no, it's good. It's very good, and um, I think I sold the most tickets on the show, and uh, so it's nice, mate. It's very good, very good. Your fans got a treat. It was an entertaining fight for for the time it lasted. Um, just one more thing, I guess maybe at once, possibly even twice before the end of the year, or is that something you're not you're not thinking about yet? You know what? I'll box every weekend if they um, got me out, but I think. Realistically speaking, probably be one more time before the end of the year, if I'm speaking realistic. Um, yeah, probably one more time, but like I said, I'll box every weekend if they um, let me. But yeah, man, let's see what, let's see what they're going to offer me. I'll be straight back out there, no problem. And Team Juggernaut tonight? Team Juggernaut, S-Jam, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Two wins, hopefully. Let's see how it goes, man. Joyce has got to do the, uh, Joyce has got to do the business, hasn't he? It's a, it's a tough fight for him, you know. It is a tough. Zhang's no idiot, is he? Like, he's no idiot at all. He's tall, he's big, and he's a southpaw, but... I think um, I've been training out in, in Vegas with Joyce at the start of his training camp. Like he he's on it like a carb on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.